Stanford was the site of Week 2's most contentious game, a blood and guts battle between the six-time state finalist New Canaan and Trinity Catholic, a long dormant program coached by alumnus and former quarterback Peter Stokes. The first half was a seesaw battle that featured four lead changes and saw Trinity Catholic take a 28-21 lead at the break. The second half, the shootout became a defensive struggle. with mud and sweat spilled all across the turf. Trinity lost its quarterback, Danny O'Leary. Then it lost its cool. That allowed Nukane to score the only points of the second half on an 18-yard touchdown pass from Ted Bossidy to Jack Barkles that tied the game. That eventually sent this one to overtime. The Trinity Catholic's defense gave the team a great shot at upending New Cannon for the first time since Stokes' playing days in 1984. After end, Patrick Keneally knocked away a pass on third down, New Canaan's Neil Culler missed a short field goal. set up John Ben Alcazar to make Trinity Catholic's biggest kick in 28 years. championship for Coach Al. Those guys had heart and they played hard too. This is a better football game than we played in 1985 for the NFC Championship. And my teammates in 84 and 85 would agree. Let me tell you something. We played for each other. We played for each other. You know, losing Danny in the third quarter and the way they handled themselves. Somebody knew a plan because I, I talked to Coach Lapps uh, yesterday morning about moving Randy in and getting some snaps. Somebody upstairs knew. If that was my mom, thank you, Mom, for pushing me to do that. 
to get Randy some snaps, and it came to truth today. So we were prepared. Cody Sorrow is our number two, but he was so important at tight end. We had to go to something different, and our defense, our defense won the game. Our defense won the game. We prepared. Coach P and Coach Abasa, they worked tirelessly with Coach Joseph. They, we, we worked tirelessly. We knew we had to throw some screwballs in there to try to try to effectively do something. Those quarterbacks are fantastic. They're fantastic football players. And to beat a team like McCainan and Coach Marinelli, how much respect I have for him, his staff. Don't know if it's you don't know if the same if this game is at New Canaan, you don't know if this same outcome happens. But there are ghosts here. Maybe we start them a little bit.